Bonjour and welcome to this new video. Today I want to talk about how I made my enamel pins. If you followed me on social media and such, you know that I've made a Kickstarter that uh, ended November 15th, I believe. And uh, the Kickstarter was to make those pins that you see me designing right now and the Kickstarter was successful so I am very happy and uh, the pins are coming to life they are coming to life the two pins and uh, this one I am designing right now which is a cute cat pin uh, cute cat mask pin it's <laughs> it's a joke uh, how to say it. it it's it's quite a joke to say it but try it at home say it fast cute cat mask pin you'll see I, i've tried a few times and i'm happy to say now i am about um, i am about able to say it sorry <laughs> uh, so so i don't remember how the idea came that i wanted to make enamel pin oh yes i know i talked to a friend about enamel pins and i said it's so cute i i, I so want to do some myself and she told me oh you know I'm close to China and I can make it for you it's it's very cheap and when I saw the prices she told me I was like oh I can do that I can actually do it but I don't want to do more than one pin so I I can fund one pin myself but I can't fund two pins and I really wanted two pins because when I was doing these designs that you see me cleaning up right now I couldn't decide on on between the two between the two I had now so I said okay I'm gonna do a Kickstarter I saw a lot of people were doing Kickstarter about enamel pins so I said oh I can do it <laughs> I can do that so so that's what I did and um, and it took me quite a while to have the design of the pin settled as you can see I I first do a sketch and then I try to ink it. I asked on on Instagram at the time what colors people would like best and what designs I would like best. Uh, it was it was a draw between the two designs and maybe this cute cat had a little bit more uh, liking than the other, but overall it was really close and uh, and for the colors it was quite obvious that this one so. These were the ones that I were to choose. The hard part was picking the Pantone color because for enamel pin creation you have to do Pantone. And I'm very new to it and I have no physical uh, reference of the Pantone. So I had to, I guess, uh, choose by contrast. And uh, I spent quite a lot of time doing that, uh, picking up the colors and and finding the right pattern and to to be sure it was um, it was okay so this is actually the file i sent to the manufacturer i uh, you have the pin on the left and then you have the the color on the right the only thing that changed is that i added my logo at the back of the pin and uh, yeah i, I I printed out uh, the pin on paper to be sure that I had the right size. I didn't want any surprise with that. So I also compared with other pins I had to see if the size fits me. And then I sent it to the manufacturer and waited. the 28th of November and I received the package today <laughs> I actually opened it before the video because I was way too excited uh, but I still wanted to do some kind of opening to show you the result so here we have them I just I just hid my address here so here are 
how the pins are packaged. They are sent in like this. Oh. So, and we will open this one to show you how they look. I will package them myself after that. But this is how the manufacturer sent it, and as you can see, it looks very very good i need to check every one of them to see how they really look but so far so good isn't it so after that i i have already designed the packing card from the kickstarter so i just printed it on uh, with my printer it, it prints very well and it's very nice on quite hard stock paper and this is how I'm going to package my enamel pins. I will put it in clear bags for the convention that is coming up. I have uh, biodegradable clear bags, uh, but for my patron, no, not my patron, my backers, I will package it in in some wrapping paper that will that will be a lot better than than the clear bags. Overall, I'm very happy about the experience and I will have to send the other pin for production very soon. It took around, I think, three weeks for production and, and a few days for the pins to arrive from China. It, it was very fast and I checked all the pins. They are all very beautiful. I didn't see any defect. I don't know if I was lucky. I heard that sometimes you can get some defects from manufacturers but I didn't get any honestly it it's they're just beautiful one and, uh, and another so I'm, s I'm very happy I after the Kickstarter I have a few pin left I will sell them some at the convention I'm attending at the beginning of December and the rest is already right now on pre-order on my Etsy shop so if you'd like one of these I'll put a link in the description below and I'll check out for some new pins because <laughs> I'm going to do some more. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoy this quick video. Uh, share, like and subscribe if you want to see some more. Thank you. Bye.